Let's talk about lymph nodes and what they are. A lot of people don't really know exactly what a lymph node is in relationship to your immune system. Now, the lymphatic system is really an extension from your circulatory system. And so all this blood rushes through the body and it goes into the tissues. And then from the tissues, it turns into lymph and goes through the lymphatic system. Now, the lymphatic system does not have a pump. So it's pumped through the body through muscular movement. So when all this lymph flows up to the body, it gets dumped back into the circulatory system. It's kind of a backup drainage system to prevent excess fluid retention, as in lymphedema. However, that's a minor function. The big function and the most important function is the activation of your immune system. You will have an entire war going on within your lymph nodes if there is a pathogenic microbe. And a pathogen is a microbe that can cause disease. One of the purposes of a lymph node is to contain and hold off a pathogen, it can protect the pathogen from spreading throughout the body. So that's why you have lymph nodes in your armpits to prevent pathogens from invading your whole arm or even in the back of your throat as the tonsils. You have lymph nodes in the side of your neck. You have them throughout the abdomen area, into the groin. There's hundreds of lymph nodes to the body. And the largest lymph node is the spleen, which is located underneath the rib cage on the left side over here. Let's just take a look at what is inside a lymph node. Well, you have lymphocytes, okay? Those are immune cells that do their work inside the lymphatic system, but they can also come outside the lymphatic system and travel around to the tissues. There's three primary lymphocytes. One would be the natural killer cells. These cells are like part of your special forces. They specialize in killing viral infected cells, okay? So when the virus invades the cells, they will kill the entire cell and the virus together. Also, they will attack tumor cells and cancer. And this is why sometimes when you have cancer, you get swelling of your glands. I think people don't realize that the immune system is not just about fighting infection. It's also about preventing cancer from invading the body. And this is why when people get cancer and they get chemotherapy, it destroys the immune system and then they end up with secondary infections and even the cancer can come back. So we need our immune system desperately to defend against many different things. And then we get the T cells. T cells have very specialized functions to kill very specific microbes. And they are activated by another immune system called the innate. The innate immune system basically is a system that you're born with. Um, these guys don't need any training. They know what to do. They're like the first line of the defense. But if they need help, they'll hold down the fort and recruit these guys right here. And just one of the functions that they will do is they will direct the appropriate attack, recruiting more help to defend against pathogens. Because we don't want too much immune system, which will destroy the body, yet we don't want to have too little immune system either because uh, then the infection goes on forever. So it's a judgment call. Another function is determining self from non-self. So there's certain tolerance of your own body tissue that the immune system must tolerate and not attack. And that also includes the friendly microbes of your body. So that job is very, very important because you don't want to end up having your own immune system attack itself as in autoimmune diseases. And then we have the B cells, which stand for bone marrow, and the T cells are thymus, and that's a little gland on top of the heart, which is a place where these cells get training, and not every T cell graduates. Only 30% of those T cells survive this intense training. But the B cells make antibodies. Now, antibodies don't necessarily kill any microbe. These antibodies are like uh, the identification of who needs to be assassinated with a big yellow X on their back. Also, these antibodies are very specific to certain pathogens. In fact, you have an almost unlimited number of antibodies, and I'm talking trillions. But what happens in this lymph node is you have a lot of antibody reactions going on. You also have the immune system taking tiny parts of pathogens 
and presenting them to the T cell. This is just one of the ways that your immune system can help locate the good guys from the bad guys. We have a lot of uh, lymph blood exchange through this lymph node. So you have these lymphocytes going in and out of this tissue all the time. And also one of the things that the lymph node will do, it'll filter certain cancer cells. And lastly, I just wanna mention this point. When someone has their spleen out, they have an increased risk of infection. And if your lymph nodes actually shrink or become dysfunctional, your risk for infection and fighting off these pathogens go way up. Chronic stress activates cortisol, which then shrinks the lymph nodes and the entire lymphatic system. And also if you're deficient in zinc, you can have certain dysfunctions with the spleen as well as your lymphatic system in general. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how to boost the immune system, I put it up right here, check it out.